This is a presentation from the tutorial in Limerick on 19th of February. It's just covering some important points from the assessment booklet. First of all, study calendar. I want to draw your attention to this. Make sure you follow the online study guide and move on each week. Don't fall behind. This is a key point. Especially in relation to the main textbook. Whenever you have a chapter to read from your main textbook, my suggestion is that you focus on that chapter during that week. Reading it, thinking about it, reflecting on it, breaking down the chapter and trying to identify what are the key points and at the end of the week, no matter how much you have done or how little, you just move ahead to the next topic and the next chapter. There are three areas of focus in this course. First of all, using your study guide to plan ahead and keeping an eye on key dates and important activities. The second is the exam and essays. Bear in mind that the exam is three essays in addition to TMAs 1, 4 and 6, also essays. And then the third thing is the project work, which begins with TMA 2 and you have to be all the time thinking ahead in terms of your project work. For example, week seven, you have to download an experiment, so you need to be ready um, and to have your ePrime and SPSS software installed and always plan ahead with your project work. So these three areas are running in parallel throughout your course, so keep a note of all three and keep thinking about them. Now, deadlines. You must obtain permission for an extension. Don't just not submit and say nothing because that leaves me in a position that I have to start ringing around trying to find out what's happened, why you didn't submit and so on. So as a courtesy to me, I'd appreciate if you could let me know and also to arrange an, an alternative date if something happens and you can't meet the deadline. So. Um, uh, in relation to the final TMA, note that there are no extensions except in exceptional circumstances. And there are no TMAs marked after the 1st of October. And this would really apply to someone where in some exceptional circumstances a TMA has, not, has been missed or whatever. And the regional office have been consulted and they may approve the marking of a, late, a very late TMA but that has to be before the 1st of October. So all problems have to be resolved with TMAs before October 1st. Um, also, just to note that if you have any personal circumstances that might affect your assessment, do talk to me in advance and let me know so that I can understand what's happening. So grading. Um, before submitting TMA01, you should have a look at the marking criteria on page, pages 4 to 6. Uh, in relation to the o o overall continuous assessment, TMAs 1 to 4 and 6 each contribute 20%. And in relation to the overall exam score, the exam is 80% and TMA05 is 20%. And you must pass TMA05. That's your research project report. And you can read more about grades and thresholds in the assessment booklet. Warnings. Um, I hate to bring this point up, but um, just to note, substitution is not recommended. It's possible to substitute TMA01, but it's way too early in the course to even consider substitution. So write some kind of an essay and submit it, no matter how far behind you are on this at the moment. Um, TMA06 is also not recommended that you substitute because of the way the thresholds work. But um, but when you come to the end of your TMAs before the exam, you can look at your own situation and you can make a decision there as regards to that. Um, word limit, the max is plus 10%, or going over that, then you lose 10% of overall mark. Um, so plagiarism, um, this issue, wherever I've encountered um, the problem of plagiarism with any open university students, in my experience, study buddies have always been the, the problem. So beware of having a stubby study buddy. That's when you have two people who work together and study together. And it's not that there's any problem with that, but the main point is that when it comes to actually 
doing your written work and submitting your work, do, the, do your own work independently. Write up your TMA independently. Um, referencing is another issue. Um, if you don't reference correctly, there is a risk that you could be um, fall into, you know, falling into this problem of plagiarism. You might be accused of plagiarism, but in my experience, this is unlikely. And if you do veer in that direction, you certainly will be warned, and um, it, it's not something that might happen. So it's not something to be really worrying about. The main thing is to focus on good referencing and getting those skills um, really um, sharpened up. Um, so. In summary, basically, it's a good idea to share your ideas on the forum. Um, never ever provide a copy of your work to another student. Now, TMA01, this is a level three standard, so it's worth noting that if this is your first level three course, that it is a higher standard. It's a higher standard of essay writing, and you need to also be developing your study skills to a higher level at this stage. Um, you will be expected to write a good introduction and conclusion. Particularly note your introduction, how you should write the introduction. Um, you must try to answer the question in your introduction. You need to say how you are going to answer the question, what arguments you are going to use to support your answer, and what evidence you are going to use in, in, in writing your arguments. So I will put up another um, resource relation to um, essay writing, but note good introduction and conclusion. Your essay should be well organized and structured. It should be clear. There should be perfect references, preferably. Um, critical thinking and critical analysis, these are a natural part of sci scientific writing. Um, always questioning, always thinking critically. Um, and also, the most important thing is address the question. Make sure that you answer the question. Now, TMA01 assesses your knowledge, the main text and the journal article. Um, so, so there is a focus on course content. You need to know the course content. Um, the ability to identify, describe, and evaluate evidence is important. Your ability to present ideas and arguments in a form that addresses the question. This is a key factor, and this is also linked to writing a good introduction. Um, your ability also to write as a level three essay within the word limit. So for more on, on this, see page nine. Then TMA02 begins project work and project booklet one. Make sure you install ePrime and SPSS software in advance. The experimental participation website uh, begins in, in um, step one of Project Booklet 1. Its um, deadline is week seven. You must complete this stage by March 19. It involves downloading an experiment that you have to use in your project. Uh, files should be available for download by the 9th of April, so these are data files. And make sure, make use of the ePrime and SPSS forum check for questions and answers, and post questions if necessary. TMAO2 assesses your ability to use the software ePrime and SPSS, and also your ability to understand research design, hypotheses, descriptive statistics, inferential statistics, use of tables and figures, and ability to write research report in a conventional style. So using your resources on writing resources, um, you can read more about that, how to write a research report. So you'll see more about this on page 11 of your assessment booklet. Okay. Now, TMA is three to six. TMA 03, we'll talk about that in tutorial two. TMA 04 is an essay on biological methods, and this is from the Methods Companion. Um, if possible, try to read both chapters before selecting your option, but you have a choice of two. TMA05 we will also talk about in Tutorial 2, and TMA06 and the exam we'll talk about in Tutorial 3. So that ends the, this presentation.